Are you a virgin? Guys. Watching TNJ, sipping on my ENJ. From my enemy's skulls, I kept them for the keeper's sake. Hello darlings, how are we? <laughs> uh, um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit personal because I'm in a personal kind of mood. I just watched the Joker film and I feel quite, you know, I don't know, I feel quite... It's, something's hit me. I haven't really shared a lot with you guys in terms of like my actual personal life so I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram related to my personal life that I would answer on here. This is sort of like my, I'm just letting go on the internet now. Like this is it. So basically I'm just going to be going through like loads of them and seeing what you guys have said, what you guys have asked me. This might get quite deep so get your tissues, get your coffee, get your, your I don't know, just just get comfortable. Let's freaking go. Before we start, remember to hit the like button for me, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and also check out my social media down in the description below. Anyway, now that's all said, let's get on with the questions because I feel like this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting for you guys. Okay, so let's start with, what's your biggest fear? Heights. I get very scared, I hate heights. You know like those trips in like year six and like you go on geography trips, like field trips and stuff. Someone says rock climbing, yeah. That's my worst two words I've ever heard in my life. I hate rock climbing. Also, I'm very scared of the ocean. Now, I don't mind the sea. Like, I, I like going to the seaside and everything. It's all very nice. My kind of ocean that I'm scared of is like, you're on a boat in the middle. You can't see any land around you. And then you just get pushed into the deep blue ocean. Where'd you go from there? You got sharks. You got whales. You've got no land. Yeah, it's just not great. So those two combined, what was the lowest point in your life mentally and why? I can't think of the time. I don't have like a certain time where I know I was mentally the lowest. I'm not saying that I have... I I've had loads. I've, I've had very few. During the gap when I didn't do YouTube, like YouTube's the sort of thing I do when I'm very happy and very motivated and just got loads of energy in life. So when I stop, it's a sign of me like not being mentally there. And also when I had quite bad acne, I know I always say in my last video as well to always be confident with acne, but it does get you down. I know a lot of people would have had like really worse things compared to that. But like for me, that's, that's it so far in my life. How social media has changed your life? Literally nothing. Like I don't think social media has really affected my life much. My parents specifically said this, that social media is literally changed life which is fair enough I get that but except from the fact that like if I'm wearing my clothes that I like then I like to take an outfit photo for it nothing's really changed like I don't really take it seriously I don't really like live my life by Instagram my Instagram is lived by my life instead of the other way around I don't have to say it I don't really prioritize social media in my life now it gets a lot sometimes but otherwise it doesn't really change my life I mean it just it just sort of I don't know it's just a way of expressing yourself it depends how you use it basically also I'm saying and I, I personally think I'll use it positively you might disagree, but what can I say? You're watching my video right now. How many girlfriends have you had? I'm not gonna count the ones in like primary school that don't count, like they, they just don't. Like let's not go into that, let's not be like, technically you had a girlfriend. Personally, I'd say I've had two girlfriends. So yeah, there's something for you to know. Not, I don't know if that's, is that good? I don't know. And are you single? Kind of related to that, so I chose it now. And yes, right now I am single. A very single, actually. But I don't mind. I'm living my life right now. And also, can I say, one of the nicest things coming out of a relationship is you begin to realize more about yourself and how you feel instead of like how they feel because you focus all your time on them. I'm so happy. Like, I'm very happy with my life because I've been able to literally give all the energy that I have to myself. So now I can just focus on my life and like focus on this. Everything's just good right now. So I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just single. That's, that's all I can say. Are you really happy? It's quite a deep question. Right now, literally, I would say yes. It's one of those things, I know when I'm happy. Like, I can literally, I, I feel, I, I feel like I can say to myself, like, I'm happy right now. You know when you're having those moments in life where you just literally can't top it? Do you know what I mean? I know a lot recently as well, I've said to my parents, I'm I'm very happy in life right now. Like, there's literally nothing going wrong in my life. But I don't know your horoscope. I don't know much about horoscopes, but I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, I don't know what that means. You're gonna have to search that one up for myself. Or let me know. Let me know what Scorpio means. I don't know. Personally, I don't really believe in that stuff, but it's up to you. Do you have anxiety or panic attacks? I have, and I'd like some tips to kind of stop it. Personally, I've never, ever, ever had an anxiety or a panic attack. But I've met multiple people in my life that have panic attacks. And obviously it's hard when I don't have them and I don't know what to say, to be honest. Talk about it. I know it might be hard. I know, like, I don't, obviously I can't get it myself because I don't have them. Talking is just the best. I don't know. That's my tip. First kiss story. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I kissed a girl in year two. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, we're gonna move on. Oh, this is a good question. Shout out to Ra Rania, Rania, I think that's her name. What song has an important memory connected to it? I have a playlist that I've kept since year eight, year nine to, what was that? When I was like 13, 14. I think my playlist goes back to the time where I went on like a tour for football with my school. Listening to the songs from that time literally makes me the happiest, but like, it's just, I don't know, it's nostalgic. I think that's the word. I don't know, like Crooked Smile by J. Cole, uh, Exchange by Bryson Tiller, Wake Up, Fetty Wap, like that sort of area, Antidote, Travis Scott, that, that area of my life was just amazing. Biggest insecurity, probably for me, is my spot. I don't know, I just can't get over it, it's just annoying. And also my hair. I've got a long head, and I don't like it. It's like I've got this massive like lump on the back of my head, I don't like it, so that's my biggest insecurity. It's really annoying. Are you gay or bi? I am straight, so that's my sexuality. 
There you go. Are you a virgin? Guys, no sex until marriage. Remember that. Please, behave yourselves. I'm religious, no, I'm atheist. I don't believe in God. I did get an A star in RS though, and you can see, I'm very good at religion. Like, I know a lot about it, so watch out. What's one of the worst things to ever happen to you? Personally, I haven't really had a lot of really bad things. Injury-wise, this thing, bloody painful. I can see my bone, I, I'll, I'll put a photo on screen. One of my worst things was when I got hacked, not just because I got hacked and my social medias went down. Like, yeah, it was kind of annoying because it's all my work gone and that, like, that's what I do. But second of all, because of the guy who hacked me, I got scared to go outside, but yeah. Does the inevitability, that's a long word, does it make you depressed or want to live life to the fullest? The thought of death make me depressed or want to live life. I am such a live life person. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to dwell on things that are going to happen. Like, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Everyone dies at the end. So I'm such like a make the most of your time kind of guy. Like, I, I really like appreciate time in a way. If I have a full day, like a day where I'm not doing anything, got no schoolwork, and I don't make a YouTube video or I don't like film something, I don't know, or, or like edit something, and just literally do nothing all day and watch YouTube and stuff, I feel like I've wasted my life. How to improve as an individual. One of the main things I thought about in terms of like improving yourself as an individual is I saw a lot of people saying like something happened in the morning, so my day's really bad already. Blah. I really get annoyed with people like that. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I, I used to do it as well, and how I've changed my life pretty much. If something bad happens to you in the morning, I'm I know those people are like, I've had a really bad day and that's an excuse for like not doing stuff. Personally, I see things like if, if something bad happens to me in the morning, like for example, I fall over in the bathroom or I stub my toe. Right, my whole day's bad now. Yo, you're literally just waking up to life. Like this is just life. Bad things happen. So make it like a bad moment or a bad day and then you'll be more happy and more energized to do stuff and you'll move on from things quicker. So yeah. How do you earn your money? Do you still resell? Yeah, no, I sell drugs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I still, I still resell sometimes. I buy something for let's say 200 pounds. I wear that thing then sell it for 200 pounds or a little bit more because I know I know like if it's gonna go up in price and then buy something else for 200 pounds I used to keep track of it I used to keep like a like a little document with like how, how much I bought it for how much I sold it for to make sure I wasn't losing money but now I've sort of got the hang of it I just sort of have this certain amount in which I just move around dick size absolutely massive is there anything you deeply regret doing and wish you could change it this is the question I've been waiting for thank you although it was hard and I know it was a time in my life where I had to like stop YouTube because of reasons I am so regretting the year that I stopped YouTube like I where I could be right now I have no idea and I, I don't want to know because it will make me jealous of myself now obviously like my head was nowhere and I literally had no motivation for it because of what happened but it's the thought of where I could be right now if that didn't happen and I was able to carry on Damn. How do you know whether someone likes you for you or just your money? Like, I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna say I am rich because I'm, I hate saying it, but yeah, you know what I mean? Personally, I don't think I've ever realized or known that anyone is liking me for my money only. Has anyone ever come up to you and recognized you and asked for a picture or awards graph? Now, a lot in London, and obviously I went to meetups and stuff, so like, I was all, almost coming to them. Funny story, actually, I was on the, on the way to a school ski trip and I was on the plane and a whole school of girls, like a whole year of girls knew me. I was literally standing like serving and like phones and like weird stuff with a biro. Like it was the weirdest thing in my life. Yeah is the answer. Who do you look up to most in your life? Now this is a good one as well. Now personally for me, I have a really close relationship with my parents. And like I, I always say to my mum as well, like at the end of the day, when I'm doing something, like for example YouTube, my main motivation is to make her proud. Like although this is something that I like doing and this is the reason why I'm doing it. Like at the end of the day, I want to make her proud of me as well. So it's because I have a close relationship with her. It's just making my parents proud of me. I don't, I don't want to be a flop in life. I, I love Will Smith. I love Will Smith, like his energy and him is just incredible so yeah what's one thing you miss about being younger does anyone else see a baby in a pram and miss being in the pram i literally see little kids like getting mowed around mowed that sounds really bad pushed around like the supermarket and stuff I missed that. I can't remember that. Why wasn't I like that? What happened to that time? I, I want to be in a pram. I hate walking. That's one thing. But like in terms of like being younger, younger, no like things to do. You have no responsibilities. Yep. Well, or less. So yeah, just less responsibilities. What age range would you date? Obviously 16. Well, I'm nearly 18. I'm 18 and like two weeks. And then I don't know about above. Like maybe like a couple of years. I don't really know. I've never really thought about it. But like older's cool. Like if I if uh, if you're older than me and you want to hit me up, feel free. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't really thought about older people. Like they're just uh, it's just whatever in it. I feel like when you get to like my age, you sort of end up forgetting about age as long as they're above the legal age. What's your biggest aspiration in life? I don't want to be surviving life. I want to be living life. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to be like thinking about all my taxes and everything and like having to do extra work to afford my rent and stuff. Like I want to be able to not really think about money as a problem too much and just live and just do what I want. What do you think about spoiled kids? I mean, look at my room. Did I do anything to deserve this? No. Was I lucky that I was born into this family? 
Yes. But if you're spoiled, as long as you know you're spoiled and you know you don't deserve it and you didn't work for it. And yeah, I was just lucky that I was born into this family and I know that I was lucky and yeah, I appreciate everything. But um, spoiled kids can literally kill themselves because if you're flexing your money without any appreciation and reality check. Okay, final question. I'm going to answer this one to finish off. What do you think is your best quality? I'm a very driven person. Like, if I find something that I like, I literally do it to death. It's one of those things where, like, I have a lot of determination. I'm quite a determined person, I think. Basically, I just hate being bad at things. Like, I can't do something and be bad at it. I just hate it. But yeah, but yeah, guys, hopefully you learned more about me. And yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. Hopefully, I answered the majority of your guys' questions and you now know a lot more about me. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you all next time on my channel for another video. Um, I've got another thing planned. I want to do more of a vloggy thing because I've done two sit down videos now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.